I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the founder of the church I served as a bishop. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many others have made a similar journey into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about, people who want to share their story. So if you're a Latter-day Saint seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and certainly appreciate you spending some time with us. And today we have Garrett Schooley, who's come all the way from California. Yep. Appreciate you coming and sharing your story. I appreciate it's you having fascinating. me. It's fascinating. And uh, so tell us where you were born and a little bit yeah. about your background. Uh, I was born on the central coast of California in, in San Luis Obispo. Oh, yeah. And... Um, in 1978, I grew up there <laughs> on the Central Coast, went to high school in Morro Bay. Oh, um, pretty country over there. Yeah, 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 it's really cool. nice. I yeah. was, uh, was blessed to live there. Um, Brothers and sisters? Did yeah, you have? I have, uh, I had, well, I have uh, older brother and sister. Yeah. Um, and then I have a younger brother who's uh, about two years younger than me. Oh. And my older sister's seven years older than me, and my other brother's five years older. Wow. Yeah. So your mom and dad, were they LDS? When yeah. You were, were they, uh, um, I grew up in the church going, that's all I knew growing, growing up, going uh -huh. uh, to Sunday. Got baptized at age eight, I guess. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Did all that. And um, yeah, my parents, my dad growing up, he, he, um, he started going when he was, I don't know, eight or 12. Uh, his, his mom uh, and knew, known about Mormonism and somebody is asking him to go to church and uh, uh, when he started going she says no you need to come go to this church and they started going to the Mormon church and so he was raised <laughs> in the church yeah. and then uh, my mom converted when he married my dad so, oh okay so yeah. and then uh, so again they were active and yeah. just and They're I just, guess just doing it still yeah. active perhaps are they still um, yeah my mom uh, th they're now divorced but my oh. my my dad is actually um no, he's 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 kind of coming out of the church, oh. and 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 it kind of sees it uh, <laughs> the way I see it. And then my mom, uh, yeah, she's she's active. Oh, we'll have to get into that bit of yeah. the story <laughs> later, I guess. Right. So you go to young man's and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, the young man's um, deacons quorum uh, teach. Like uh, I I was the president of the deacons quorum, like when oh, we yeah. had it, and the teachers and yeah. Um, not, I don't think I was. Of the priests, but yeah, uh, well, it was it's a small it was a small church. It wasn't it's not like out here where you see a church on every oh probably you know, not no. It, it, Morro Bay uh, there was one one church building one ward, and yeah. it, I think it's probably still like that now. Yeah. So, so are you uh, taking? Do you take seminary? At, yeah, at, seminary in high school. Now that was early morning. Probably, yeah, wasn't that was it? early morning before school. Um, <laughs> That's er definitely early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I graduated, uh, barely, but I graduated. <laughs> and seminary? Did, yeah, did, uh, graduated seminary, yeah, uh, and uh, did all that. And, um, yeah. Okay. So any question that the church was true? I mean, you just knew the... No, it, it, I had the standard, you know, I, testimony. I know the Book of Mormon's true. I know Joseph Smith's a prophet. I know this church is true. <laughs> uh, you hear it, you just hear it a lot. Yeah. And... Um, it's it's all I knew, and right. it, you know the one thing it, it did give me a belief in God and a belief in Jesus. Oh, okay. Like uh, just knowing knowing that, that there's a God. Yeah. But um, yeah, my my testimony was pretty standard. I didn't really have any questions. Mm. Um, um, the one question I did have because my parents got were divorced in high school. Oh, yeah. I remember talking to my bishop and asking because they were sealed. Um, in the temple, and I was asking them how uh, how that works in heaven. They're divorced here, but they're still married in heaven. And what if they get remarried? Oh, and it's just yeah, like, that, how does all that work out? Pretty confusing. Yeah, yeah. and this basically his answer was, uh, "God will work it out." Like <laughs> <laughs> in the millennium or something. Yeah, or something. So, something like that. And so, There's so, a lot of that to be figured out. Whoever's right. going to, it, obviously, we don't. Well, yeah. but yeah, that's that's a funny part of. 
people divorcing and who sealed to whom. And, uh, right, right. You know. that, that was a question I had, but I said, okay, well, God will figure it out. Yeah. So, so you you end up going on a mission. Yeah, I ended up going on a mission uh, when I was twenty, um, and uh, had you always wanted to go? Growing up, I thought I did. My brother went on a mission. My sister went on a mission. Wow. Um, growing up, when my brother and sister were around, it was really, it was, it, it was a good time. Like the church was good. There was activities and I just, uh, it looked amazing. And when I got older, I wanted to do that. And it was really my parents' divorce that just really kind of rocked my world. Really and, and my mom wasn't in the house anymore. And my dad was working a lot and it wasn't the same. And mm. Um, I kind of fell away from the church. Um, I had a, I had a, uh, a non-Mormon girlfriend, and it, it was. Just, I spent a lot of time that there because this it was is just, right after high school. Yeah, yeah. like the my junior year of high school, graduating, and then um, and then after high school, hmm. and it was just um, it was a hard time, and uh, it was more comfortable away from my house and and. and being, being with uh, another family. And I almost became part of their family, spending oh. so much time up there. But um, I, I, there came a point where I decided I, I need to go on a mission. Like I need to change what I'm doing and I just need to, um, I need to give it a try. I need to do this. Yeah. And so I told my girlfriend, she wasn't too happy. <laughs> and, um, but it was something I just had to do for myself, you I think. You went in and talked to the bishop? Yeah, I, guess, I went and talked to the bishop, and we worked out a plan and, and got everything situated. And I ended up going when I was 20. Uh, I got called to the uh, Puebla, uh, Mexico mission. Oh. And um, I went, uh, left for the MTC. Um, now, you went through the temple probably before that. Yeah, right right before that. Wh which I, temple did you go through? I ended up going uh, to the L.A. temple. Okay. And, and how was that experience? That was, um, that was interesting. After I, Going to the temple, I was expecting, I had a lot of expectations, like this is going to be amazing, this is going to be cool, I, I finally get to know what's going on. And after, I thought, is that it? <laughs> That's kind of where I was at. I mean, I accepted the fact that I didn't know everything and right. time was going to help me understand stuff. But it was, yeah. okay, well, that, that okay. That. And, and, well, then everybody else is there, your family's there. Sure. Like, and so it's just, okay, everybody and else is like, going along with it, okay. I but you really I, felt that, huh? Yeah, I was just like, wow, okay. <laughs> I guess this is it, all right. And so, you know, I ended up going to the temple a couple times and you know, of course when you're in the MTC you go I think once a week or something like that I just remember going in there mm. and um, yeah I just it, 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 it's not what I expected okay but so, so you're you're out yeah. there on your mission and... yeah I go to the MTC that was awesome um, kind of being with a bunch of guys learning we're all going to the same mission uh, I get out there on the field um, and I start um, just what I see on the mission field is not what I expected. It's not like that movie they show you and when you enter the MTC. And there was a lot of guys out there just their heart wasn't in it. And it's, they seemed like they were out there for different reasons. And their motivations uh, for doing a mission weren't there. Really? And I, uh, I think maybe it was more of my mission. Uh, it could have been. But uh, it was that, and then the pull of, of my girlfriend back home and not being a Mormon and, and really thinking, can I make it two years doing this? Do I really want to do this? And I, I, I finally made the decision, I want to go home. I talked to my, the president, mission president. They tried really hard to keep me, and my, I, they had me call my bishop, and my bishop asked me, you know, just stay three more weeks. And it was, and the reason for three more weeks, maybe just to see, okay, it'll right, it'll pass. This feeling pass, will pass, feeling and you, you'll get over it, and you'll stick with it. And I just said, but you just didn't feel like it was. No, I just, I, I, I think I was done in my heart. Like I, I, I don't want to do this. I, now, for me, that takes a lot of courage. Did you see it as courage, or just, um, I mean, that's a when, big step. When I was talking to my bishop, I just when he asked me three more weeks and I just know 
I was thinking in my head, like, if I say yes, I, I, if I say no, I'm like, it was the first decision I kind of made for myself. Yeah. It was that decision that's like, no, I need to come home. I want to come home. I don't want to let you guys tell me just <laughs> to go along <laughs> to with try it. To yeah. try a little longer or something. And so I came home. Mm. And, and, um, well, unless you don't want to share, yeah. that's tough, isn't it? I mean, yeah. how did your family take it and the board um, members and stuff? Is that? You know, I, I came home, I was released by my state president, and I talked with him a little bit. Um, I, I, I don't think I ever went to church, back, back to church after I came home. Oh, yeah. my, my parents, my dad understood that my, my brothers, they were like, hey, it's okay. Uh, you know, they like, they're pretty understanding. Somewhat supportive. Uh, yeah. Okay. By that time, my older brother and sister, they were out of the house. My brother, uh, I think he was at college. Um, by then and so um of course they would like me to stay out there but i i yeah. i needed to come home and um did you go through any depression or anything about it um, was it that tough or no i think i just you felt like you had a good I, attitude about it i think i it was like i tried doing the mormon mission thing and i failed and so i just need to move on Mm -hmm. Kind of, and so I didn't go back to church. I know the people say, "Hey, come, come to church," and I just, I didn't, I, I felt like I failed, and I didn't want to face it, and so I just didn't. Did you kind of have it in your mind? Well, someday I'll come back. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. I figured when I'd get married, I'd oh. get back to the church. Yeah. It'd be easier when I'm married. Yeah, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so I, I thought I, I was always a Mormon kind of at heart, but I just couldn't I couldn't do it Yeah, right then. And yeah. so I'd get back into it okay. later. And you kept trying to come back. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so tell us what, what happened after that. Um, well, I came home from a mission. I ended up moving up to Chico with my girlfriend, um, not really going to church, just going and doing our thing in the world. And, um, <laughs> I mean, we lived together. Yeah. And... Um, we ended, I, I had been with her for like eight years from, from high school. Wow. And it was, we, it was almost not like being married, but we were, we were together a long time. We ended up breaking up and, um, it was, it was devastating. Looking back on it now, I, I know what part I played in it, but it was like, she was leaving me and <laughs> I felt so alone. Oh. Um, I just remember, um, being in my apartment and just feeling a overwhelming sense of aloneness. I, 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 I left my mission for her and she had left me. I, I, I discounted my, um, like just pushed my parents away. I was, uh, uh, because of the divorce. Yeah. And the uh, divorce and the, in the high from high school and just a lot of things just came crashing in. And I was just, I was, I was done. I was undone. And I just remember, crying like I never cried before and being on my face and just telling God over and over again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And nothing really happened to him. You know, God didn't speak to me. <laughs> God, like I wasn't saved, but I know he heard my prayer. Yeah. Um, he heard my prayer. I, I, I I started, I, you know, I got back on my feet. I was, I just, I started trying to put my life back together. Yeah. And um, I was up in Chico. I had friends. I started doing my thing in the world again. I tried going back to church a few times. Did you? And I just, it, it wasn't right. It didn't feel, it didn't feel right. And um, I just said, you know, I can't, I can't fake it. So <laughs> I'm just going to do my thing. And I ended up, um, that happened in the, in the spring um, I ended up going back uh, home for uh, um, from Chico in yeah. the summer, yeah. and uh, my wife. Now we were friends in high school. Um, we oh. kept, yeah, we kept in touch after high school. Uh, just would call each other every once in a while out of the blue, and I thought I'd give her a call. And I ended up, I was downtown. I ended up coming out of a, a store, and she was standing right there. And just, she just happened to be there. She yeah. She just happened to be standing right there. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, Hey, what's up? What's going on? And we exchanged numbers and, um, I called her that night and we went out and we just, we hit it off and we, now was she LDS? No, she, she oh. was a, um, 
she was Christian growing up. She grew up Christian. Um, she was backslidden at the time in the world doing her thing. And I was a Jack Mormon doing my thing. And we uh, came together. I think God was in that, though. He, uh, that was one of the uh, things I think God was behind. As you it's, look back, now you right, see him. I see him working. And in our sin and in our, our not wanting to know him, he, he was still working. Sure. And he brought us together. Um, we started dating. Uh, we moved in together and started living together. And then I decided, you know, after we, we actually moved up for, to, backed up to Chico for to a year. Chico. Okay. And um, then we ended up moving back home. But I just remember thinking once we moved back home, I started working for her dad. It's like, what am I doing? I need to, I, I want to marry this woman. I, w- I want her to be my wife. And um, we started, the thought of, okay, religion comes up. Uh, uh, and the thought, uh, you know, if we're going to have kids, what are we going to tell them about God and stuff? Because I still had a belief in God. So now you're getting to that cruxy moment. Of yeah. Going to have a wife and maybe children. So what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> and I just remember uh, a few times it coming up and, it, and she made it clear she wasn't going to become Mormon. And I'm all. Did you try to share with her? Well, I, yeah, I, I tried Mormonism. to share. Yeah. You know, the Book of Mormon is true and <laughs> Joseph Smith wants prophet. Oh, it needed to be restored and, and all this. And she just thought I was crazy. Like, <laughs> no, you don't understand. And, and that, that pushed me to, you know, hey, if the Book of Mormon is true, the church is true, truth is truth, and I can prove it to you. And I wanted to prove it to her. I wanted to, just, I wanted to show her. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't have the info, you know, that I needed to show her, but I was going to go get it. And um, I had those two questions of why, why do Christians see Mormonism as a cult? And what do, um, if the church is true and, and, and other Christians don't have the truth or there's something wrong with them, what, what are the teachings that make it so? Yeah, yeah, what are the di- What's so different about it? Yeah, and so those are good questions. Yeah, and so you tried to prove the church true, right? What'd you do? I well, I started listen to to understand what Christians believe. I started listening to uh, messages on the radio. CS, uh, it was a CSN radio, and it just played uh, you know sermons all day of oh, different my. different people. Oh really? And my work being a landscaper, I had a radio headset, and I was able to listen to them all day. <laughs> and I would be listening to them, and I was like, "Wow, that makes sense." The Bible started to come alive, and they're teaching it verse by verse. It made so much sense to me. It's like I never heard that when I was a kid. I never knew that, and I realized I didn't really know what the Bible said. Yeah, we don't really have much stock in the Bible as, no. as LDS, do we? And it, it was it was just amazing. And <laughs> you know, I would listen to a Bible answer program, and they would uh, they would tell me uh, like people calling about Mormonism, and when they would get on that subject, I would be like, no, no, they're they're good. Like uh, it was like it was, or we don't believe that, right? Right. It was very just just. It didn't jive well with me, and that pushed me to looking into um, the history of the church, like things you can find online, and uh, yeah. you know, stuff about Joseph Smith and stuff about the Book of Mormon. Were you surprised? And, so surprised with this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I was. I was like, really? I, like, I, I felt lied to. I felt be- betrayed. Yeah. Like, what what the church tells their people. And what is available out there are two different, they like to soften it up. And I just like, I, I felt betrayed. And I was able to come at it from, I was outside the church. So it wasn't like, oh, you can't look at, look at uh, uh, oh, yeah. anti-Mormon stuff. Right, right. You know, and so I was free to just look at it and research it. And I was just and like. And evaluate it yeah, objectively. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I got to this point where I realized Mormonism wasn't true. The Book of Mormon wasn't true. You really came to that. Yeah. I, I said, you know, it's not. And listening to all the, and Joe Smith wasn't a prophet. And listening to all these messages, I, I, I wanted what they, they talked about. I wanted, I wanted this Jesus. And it was, only, it was the God that I always thought should be there in Mormonism, but there was all this stuff in between. Religion, and yeah, and, and having to do all this stuff and, stuff and feeling, you know, but knowing the gospel and, and the power of it, and just I can be forgiven of all my sins, and God sees me as as righteous, and that can propel me to just 
love other people, you know? Did you understand grace at all? Uh, not growing up, but no. I, I, I learned, like, growing up, it's... Part of this message. You, right. You're saved after all you can do. Right. So you you got to do. Right. But grace being that you are forgiven, and the grace allows you to live out this Christian life because it keeps you keeps you going. You know, you mess up, you stumble, but grace is there. It says, it's okay, you keep on rolling, you keep on going. Yeah. And it was just, wow. And so I ended up, uh, like the, uh, a, a pastor gave an invitation at the end of his message when I was listening on the radio, and I was sitting there blowing, and I said, Blowing leaves. Uh, yeah, blowing leaves. <laughs> blowing leaves, I had, had my headphones on, I was blowing leaves, and um, I said, I, I want to do it. I'm going to say a prayer. So I ducked behind so a dumpster. So he, he called you to do a sinner's prayer? Yeah, a sinner's think. prayer. And I, I, turned, I turned the blower down. Uh, I ducked behind the dumpster. I, see if anybody was around. I ducked my head. I said the prayer. I opened up my eyes, and it's like, okay, I guess I'm a Christian now. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> what should I do? Yeah, I went home, and I told my wife. And she says, Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> like she was kind of taken aback and she says, we really going to do this. And I said, yeah, I'm a Christian. Like, and I, I ended up finding my church. I, the, the station was the Calvary satellite network. And, um, a person from her work uh, was a Christian and I was sitting at the bar, uh, waiting for her to get off. And she says, Hey, you should come to church. I'm like, what church is it? And she's like, oh, Calvary, Calvary chapel. I'm like, oh, it's because it was the same Calvary. It was a Calvary. That you've chapel. been listening to yeah. on the radio. And so I went to that church. And what did you think the first time you went? I always ask it, that. But... It was it was something else. It was like nothing I've ever been to. Either the worship music and and the teaching. I mean, I I came in some nice pants, a, a sweater, and my my quad. It was the only Bible I had. And <laughs> oh, um, how funny! But it was amazing. I yeah. just like wow. And I just felt God was there. God was with this, and, and it's God all has about brought me. worshiping yeah. Jesus, isn't it? Yeah, God. it's all about Him, and it's yeah. not, not about us and what we need to do. It's just about Jesus, and um, and so it, that kind of tug, uh, like that, that kind of. I was going to church. My wife didn't really want to go to church. I was wondering, did she go with you? Um, no, she was kind of reluctant to do that. Like, I have my Jesus. I'm good with Jesus. I don't need to go to church. And I said, okay. And so I just started going. And um, God did an amazing work in our lives. And, and she slowly started coming around. As I was growing in Jesus, she would come to church a few times. And maybe we had a little place you could sit outside and listen to it on the speaker. She would come there. And she slowly started coming. And God broke her. And her her story is pretty cool, but um, yeah, we're gonna get to meet her yeah. next time. So I'm um, excited about that. Yeah, she broke her, and we we started going to church, and it's been growing in the Lord ever since. And how long has this been now, then? Um, I gave my life to the Lord in like 2006. Wow, so and about, it's about 11 years. Yeah. Now. And, and he's grown us into it now that uh, the church where uh, God brought us to, uh, we're, we're running the children's ministry now and heading that up and, and just trying to... And what does that mean for those that may not oh, understand um, church ministry, it, children's ministry? Children's ministry is, you know, the parents bring the kids to church. They go to, to the sermon, the service, and they leave uh, their kids with us and we get to teach them about Jesus. And, and they share. love it, don't they? Yeah. Yeah sharing the gospel with them and just trying to, trying to instill in them. And the opportunity you have in children's ministry is to leave a legacy yeah. uh, of, of God's, like, this, these are His children, and you want to teach them about His love. And you never know what God can do with these little, it's like a mission field. And they'll remember of, yeah. forever what right. you've taught them. Yeah. Well, just to kind of put it in a big perspective, yeah. how fulfilling is this walk with Jesus compared to what you... I mean, you were struggling as a yeah. Mormon. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, people would, anyway, just. Yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's a completely different. I, I think the di difference is our motivation be behind why we do the things we do as a Christian. Yeah. We don't do them to be okay with God or someone else tells them. We do them out of what our Savior did for us. And, um. Yeah, we're not trying to earn no. points, are we? Or no, it's his love, way. Like his overwhelming love. That's what gets me every time, is this overwhelming love I can't get away from. 
I can't run from it. It always finds me, and I just I I can't I can't go for it. I have to surrender to it, and just give my life to Him. And, and the peace that I have knowing I'm okay with God, that we can't lose. We've isn't, already won. Isn't that a, a great freedom and a. a the burdens off of our right. shoulders. It's a freedom to die to ourselves and live to God and trust God with our lives. Well said, yeah. And, and, and that's, I think, our, as a Christian, that's, our, that's our, our struggle. Our battle is believing God and following Him and trusting Him in the midst of our circumstances, yeah. in the midst of how we feel or, or, yeah. or, or everything, is trusting Him and allowing His, what He says about us to be true and believe that rather than what the world says or what our feelings say yeah. or um, all that. And it, 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 it's just, it, God's amazing. He's yeah. so amazing. And that's what I would love to tell my Mormon friends or Mormon people is the God of the Bible, the Jesus of the Bible loves you and his, his, his love I, I can't, almost can't explain it, but His love is amazing. Seek Him. Seek the truth. Um, read your Bible. and The gospel's in the Bible, yeah, isn't it? it and yeah. it's the good news. It's the good news. It's the good news yeah. that Jesus came. Yeah. He died for our sins. And we're made right through His sacrifice. And there's nothing more to do but believe and put our faith in what He did and allow Him to transform our lives here. So we can, we can show other people. We can be the hands and feet of Jesus. And it's just amazing. And it, it's such good news. Oh, and it's so simple. It For is. me, to, it's, it's so godlike. Yeah. I mean, it's so simple. It and, is. Yeah. Have you been able to share with family? Some uh, of these you know, return missionary brothers and stuff? Yeah, I, try, I, I hard, tried. like. I actually shared your 17-minute video on Facebook one oh, time, back gosh. when I was first saved, and um, it got a mixed response. <laughs> and I, and, and sometimes in our zeal, when a, you're I a new know. Christian, you can be so right, but you can still be wrong because our, our heart behind the is... The presentation is yeah. black a little. And it's like, you know, I, I, and that's, that's my struggle. And I'm just yeah. I'm starting to dialogue and talk with them and, okay. and, and try and open up and just be honest and, and speak the truth and in love. Share Jesus. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, <laughs> yeah. we're almost done. Yeah. Garrett, thanks so much. And I appreciate, appreciate it. appreciate you coming for this time of, time of the year. And, yeah. and you've actually been able to... To, to share your story here. And we are going to meet your wife next yeah. time. This will be the first one I've done that way. Yeah, right. But I think it's interesting. And, um, and you're trying to share with her Mormonism. And yeah. she said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. Yeah, appreciate thank you, you so much. And appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time on the Ex-Mormon Files. Mm -hmm.